Yes. Perfect. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh my gosh, I hate when I hit that. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get lots and lots and lots of nails. Now, if you're in need of nails, you should be before district level 40. Once you hit district level 40, you can build a workbench. And once you build a workbench, then all you have to do is go get iron. So you don't need nails, go watch my video on how to get iron, and then you just shove it in your workbench and it produces tons and tons of nails. So if you already have your workbench or if you're already level district level 40, you do not need to watch this video on how to get nails because what you need to do is either get your workbench or get iron to use on your workbench and you've got tons and tons of nails. But before you hit district level 40, you know, if you're not there yet, then you will need this video. A lot of you guys might need this video. And so I'm going to teach you how to get tons of nails before the workbench. So first thing you do, you you know, you need to get to level 10 you shouldn't be doing this if you're watching this video before level 10 then you don't need that and you need to be at least district level 19 and then when you get there you can build a staff of support so we're going to build a staff of support let's go ahead and build a second one just for funsies and uh and then we're going to build some spears one spear which is plenty enough and then we're going to craft just some a set of level one gear the boots are actually really important in this game having that extra movement speed that extra four percent movement speed is a big deal so let's put some of this stuff away we don't need them any of this so and then i also brought a stack of meat you should have lots of meat you don't need it you can do it for cheaper i have a video on the cheapest way to do the tomb but that's how you do it so so in order to get the healer you have to be level 10 and you need to have a staff of support and do 500 damage with it and that's what unlocks the healer super easy you just have to be district level 19 and so let's let's go get some nails now, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to get nails, but you might die. Again, nothing we have on us is that valuable, okay? This is all dirt cheap stuff. You can do one green zone and get all of this. Maybe you can't get all of that meat, but trust me, you will get more meat than you'll know what to do with as you play this game. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we are gonna go and look for the tomb. That's why I went into the four player zone. It's guaranteed tomb in this zone you guys if you want to play it safer go into the single player zone and then there's a 50 percent chance of getting a tomb um all right i was getting a little impatient i just i just need to do the loop-de-loop -loop. statistically we should find the tomb pretty quick if we just go around the edges i can't resist i have to go in the middle okay so we did not find it on the first run around means it's somewhere deep in the zone. Okay, we're gonna just run through it. We need to find this stupid tomb. Where could it be? There it is. Wow, we must have just barely missed it. Okay, I'm gonna get everyone off my back, except the wolf because I can't get him off my back. All right, let's kill this guy. So our first spear is hit the dust. So, oh, actually while I'm here, I'm gonna show you, there are nails in these outer chests. Unlike some of the other resources that you find in the tomb, you can find nails in these outer chests. You can find the nails in the outer chest of the green zones. Uh, and so they're, at, they're there. You just, the best place to find nails is inside the tomb. So let's go ahead and let's look what's in this box this is a free box you don't even have to do the tomb boom already we've got three nails that was fast we got so many nails so quickly so that's that's where that's going to be your best source of nails and look at that five nails so this is a little bit lucky where you don't normally get five nails this right off the bat um but obviously it's possible and so if I were desperate for nails right now, I'd be getting out, okay? Like this is like, if I were in your shoes and you're like, I need nails and I'm desperate for it. I just got five nails. I'm going home. I'm bringing those nails home. I'm gonna make the stuff that I need to get my workbench so that I can make nails, unlimited nails, okay? But for the sake of showing you guys, let's say I didn't get those nails, we're gonna keep going. But again, if you need those nails, if you're one of those people, 
that don't have your workbench and therefore you're really desperate to get nails to be able to get you know strong pickaxes and and uh, and hatchets and strong hatchets don't don't screw around in the tomb once you hit just because you saw me do it don't don't keep going that's not it's not smart you gotta bring when you get something you need go home put it where it needs to be build what you need to build that's how you get wealthy in this game you don't want to just sit too long on something this is that's not going to help you in the long run all right here we go killing this elite so you can see this can be a little bit tedious right um just one we're gonna get this archer to come at us. Archers are really annoying. Do not like them. Okay. And he's dead. We're gonna go ahead and sneak up on this guy before we start healing. Alright, and we have killed this guy. So now we're gonna switch over to staff while we're opening chests. Having that staff of support, having the healer, it's amazing. Okay, no nails there, but we got some other good stuff that you're gonna need, so go ahead and grab that. I mean, you need that oil for your workbench, and I'm pretty sure you need those pliers too. All right, let me let me double check all the requirements of the workbench. Yeah, you need those pliers too. So you need that oil, you need those pliers. If you do not build your workbench, you will need to do this really annoying way of getting nails all the time it is a grind, don't do it. Getting your workbench is your number one priority if you are at a place where you're kind of getting desperate for nails. Oh, not what, dang it, that is not good. All right guys, so I'm gonna switch over to my staff. I'm gonna heal some. Ah, uh, this is not good. So I got two guys attacking me. This definitely is not good for where I'm at. I should not have done that. So I'm gonna heal, and then I'm gonna just... That's gonna give me a little bit of sustainability as my healing spells go. Gave me enough sustainability to kill one of them, but it's still not smart to do that because it's, it's hurting my durability. I'm getting two people attacking me each time. Uh, it also... Yeah, just that was not good. I, that was that was poor play on my part. All right, switch back over to the staff while we loot the chests. Okay, we got some more oil. That's good for our workbench. Gonna heal up. Did I? I looted this chest, right? Okay, I looted both of these. Okay. So those of you who know. You either go right or you go straight in tombs. Pretty much pretty much every tomb, you're going either right or you're going straight. Okay, I'm gonna start a tournament uh, just because I'm the day's almost over for me and I haven't done my tournaments yet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, but this is not necessarily a great place to do tournaments. You really want to be doing your tournaments in Odin's, but that's okay. All right. So I got this club. Oh, nice. A crossbow. Okay. And that, and this happens sometimes. You'll get a nice weapon when you're doing the tomb. Go ahead and use it for the tomb. Nice little club action. All right, I'm just gonna keep going. All right, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just aggro with that one guy. Sounds kind of like a baseball bat, which I guess clubs and baseball bats do share quite a bit of similarities. All right, I'm gonna Go over here to heal. Now, at this point, I actually, I think I'm gonna use this. Mainly because it just gives, 
I mean, they're cheap. They're not that expensive. And uh, it's going to make it go pretty quick. Well, if I had bolas, it'd go pretty quick, but... All right, he's dead now. I'm um, gonna just keep eating the meat. You, you'll see that you get quite a bit of meat while doing these tombs, so it kind of replenishes itself over time. And that way you don't always have to switch back to your healing. Okay, so y'all saw that giant there. I don't really wanna activate the giant if I can avoid it. Oh, there's a giant here too. All right, well, we just wanna get one giant at a time. There's three giants. All right, so these giants will attack twice and then they will use a skill. You don't have to go all the way behind them. You just switch just a little bit. One, two, and you just switch over a little bit. Just like that. Easy peasy. I really wish the tournament had started, but oh, the tournament started right afterwards. It's funny. All right, so now you can see in the mini map that the giant nearest us is pointed the other way. This giant is, and then the other giant further from us is pointed towards us. So we're gonna walk close enough to where he sees us and then we're gonna sneak away. That way we're only fighting one of them at a time. And then every once in a while, you just come over to the entrance of the, of the tomb. That way you're just not getting snuck up on by someone you weren't expecting. One, two, you're counting his hits. Two, there you go. And he's dead. All right. So. Ooh, those bird scouts actually might be kind of nice. We're gonna use our primrose, so we got a little bit extra hit points for this wood giant. And then we're gonna use our both of our healing, and then we're gonna sneak up on him as fast as we can. Stone giant. Cause he does, I mean, it's not like he does crazy damage. So the stone giant, you do not wanna get in front of him. He will do so much damage. But instead of how many attacks, this he is on a timer. So you really have to know his timer. It's technically five seconds. So now we've got four chests to search. So let's search these chests. Let's switch over to the staff so we can get that going. All right, we got some more oil, which is good. We need oil for our workbench, which the workbench is the best way to get nails. I, I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, so in this one tomb run we've gotten seven nails and we already have all of the oil we need to completely to to get our workbench so that's this is it guys this is one there we go and now we've got the pliers almost have all of the pliers we need to build our workbench okay so I'm gonna eat that and delete that keep that switch that out Okay, we're gonna keep moving forward. Uh, we're doing good. We're moving pretty quickly. I love on this tomb in particular, I love getting to this part because now I can see when someone might spawn in. Makes it a little bit safer. All right, so we got two people. We're gonna use a little bit of uh, our ranged attack here. Okay, so I don't know if y'all just saw that, but in my, I don't know, just being dumb, I totally aggroed a third enemy. So this is really dumb. You don't want to get hit by this many people. This could end up being the death of me. So this is really dumb. I'm just getting hit so much right now. I'm not playing smart. It was not smart to do that. So 
So I clicked on the guy I wanted to hit. Um, cause I, I want to kill one of them. So I'm only doing one at a time. And, um, this is excruciating. This is really dumb, but I'm still using, I'm still just slowly, but surely using those, uh, that food. Alright, so that should heal us up quite a bit, and uh, we can probably switch back to the club now, just supplement with food. We're getting hit harder because we lost our armor, and we lost our armor probably because we just weren't being careful enough. So, now, let's see, we, yeah, we would need to go upstairs and get some fiber, and I don't really want to do that right now, so, we're going to keep going without armor. But all right, we got another club and we got some good healing. That's going to be nice. Okay. So, so we are pretty much ready. We do need to make sure that this guy comes and fights us because he is. Um, cause he would have aggroed by the door and, um, now you're, there's no really way of teaching you this, uh, other than just through experience, but this tomb in particular, as soon as you open the door, the guy comes like right at you. So, um, whereas a lot of the tombs you open the door and the boss is a little ways in this one, he's right there at you. So you gotta be careful. Um, it really sucks not to have shoes for this situation, but that's just, that's just what we're at. So we are going to, so this crossbow has pretty good DPS. That's what I would have recommended. In fact, I, I have Pathfinder 2 on this account, so I definitely would have used that crossbow in a normal circumstance. But because I wanna show you guys um, how to just succeed at this, even if you didn't get, let's say the RNG was not favorable to you, um, I'm just gonna use two stabs of support to do this. So this is gonna be, I am gonna use this uh, Primrose and then we're gonna go ahead and do this so this is going to be a little annoying it would go a lot faster if i would allow myself to use that bow but i'm not going to i'm gonna just do it the annoying way now if you die or if you reset if you leave the zone he's gonna get all of his health back so all the work that you do will be a waste So he is like the giant in the sense that um, he will get you, he'll do two hits and then he'll use his skill um, like the G hermit giant. The problem is that if he hits you with his skill, you're going to die, even if you have pretty good armor on. I mean, if you have great armor, you, you won't die, but anything that you should be wearing in a tomb, you're going to die. So... Okay, so I don't know if y'all heard, saw that, but it looked like someone just spawned in. So we're gonna go check. Okay, no one spawned in, so. Not sure what that was about. Um, sometimes that happens, but anytime you see a little lag spike like that, you need to beware that it could be someone spawning in, which honestly, someone spawning in while you're fighting the boss is not bad. That's, a, that's kind of a decent time because if they want to attack you, yeah, there he is. Okay, so here we go. So this guy is turning red. Uh, and so what I want to do is I want to go around. I want him to turn red. Uh, there we go, so he's turning red. Um, I want to go to right over to him 
right there. See that? So now he's fighting the boss. And if he comes at me, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on him and I'm gonna come and shoot him. So you can see that? So I'm shooting the guy. Sorry, I get really nervous when I'm fighting. Yes, perfect. All right, so we're gonna just let him run. So, best case scenario, he gets away. Or worst case scenario, he gets away. All right, let's see if I can kill him. He got all the stuff, so I definitely want to kill him. All right, he might get away. Dang it, that's really sucks. Okay. Well, that was a well played by him. I did not have the the better stuff. So I almost killed him. Honestly, if I had been a little bit more aggressive when he was fighting the boss, um, I got a little too nervous. Um, but that that would have been the best move right there. So that was unfortunate. Oh, and there's a little chest in here. So we'll, we'll see if we get anything good on this chest. Okay, so nothing great. I got another bow, which, you know, these bows aren't bad. But, but what we're going for right now is nail. So even if that happens to you in this scenario, that actually isn't a bad scenario for you. We used him. That guy was trying to come in and take the kill. Uh, and I think he was chatting like, why would you want to kill me? Well, he went red. So don't, don't let people fool you. He went red. So he was definitely wanting to take that loot. And so we were, we played it well to where he couldn't kill us and take all of our stuff, like our nails and our oil and all of that stuff. Um, and so that worked out pretty well, but he did end up getting the boss, which isn't ideal. If I'd been a little bit more aggressive when he was fighting the boss, it would have worked out. Or when he started running away, I should have just killed the boss and then taken the stuff, kind of like what he did. Um, to me and so but that's okay because where you're at you don't really need to be worrying about getting the loot on a red boss on a on a boss at a red tomb okay that's not really your focus right now your focus is getting your workbench so that you can actually play this game well because if you don't have your workbench you're always going to be desperate for nails and iron plates you can't even get iron plates and so you need to focus on that. So now if you are worried right now, like if we're worried that, okay, he's going to be waiting up there. Let's say he's got really good gear. He's going to be able to kill us, uh, which I don't think he will. Uh, but let's say he would be able to do that. Then what we could do is we could uh, just log off. You know, we make sure no one's in that can kill us. Now we're going to just log off and we're going to wait like 20 seconds. And make sure when you log off that you actually do like you do the swipe. OK, you want to make sure you're actually swiping so that the game disappears. And then within 20 seconds, you'll be logged out of the game and then you're safe. So let's go out. Hopefully he doesn't have some secret awesome gear that we didn't know about. All right, guys. So we have gotten we got what we needed. We got seven nails four oil and three of these plier things that is going to be I mean that's pretty much a workbench right there all you need to get is the copper and the maple which is a lot go watch my videos on how to get copper and maple um, but that's a huge start to where we're wanting to be all right so we're going to make another staff of support so that gives us our two staffs of support again like we had it and then we're going to craft two spears. You can do more. Obviously, I needed a little bit more la last time. All right, we're going to craft a shirt. We're going to craft pants and boots. 
and a hat okay great all right so we got a full set of gear again we've got a little bit less food uh, but we've got our two stabs we got our two spears and we got that little club you know this is a very minimal amount after we get back from this i'm going to give you a few more tips on how to use nails because part of it is getting nails others another part of having more nails is how not to use nails and then eventually the ultimate way to get nails is just to build your workbench as i've already mentioned I think I think they changed the tomb and they made it more in the middle of the map. All right, so when you have a giant over the tomb like this, it is just bring him, bring him, bring him over. Um, you got lots of time. Let him do a little loop de loop, and oh, that rock. Okay, anyways, and then run as fast as you can to the tomb. There we go. Okay, so this is really nice. This means that we're the only ones in the tomb and someone's going to have to kill that giant to come in there. So that's going to give us a little bit of extra breathing room. But again, the first thing you want to search is just the chest in the very beginning there's a lot of nails often here and so nothing there so this tomb is one of the ones that you just go straight 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 uh, you never take any turns and you get all the way there so let's get moving interesting so when you go into a tomb it starts playing the music even if you have music turned off but if you open the settings it'll it'll remember that you have music turned off okay let's go in and let's open these chests see if we get some nope no nails there no nails there but we did get that last plier that we needed as if we were gonna build a workbench and we got more pliers you're gonna get a lot of pliers. Um, all right, so we're just gonna keep going straight because this one is just straight, straight, straight. These wood giants are also on a five second timer. It does not matter how much, how many hits they've done, it's based on timer. All right. Come over here, hopefully. All right, there we go. Finish him off. All right, so we're going to lure this guy over. That way we're killing one at a time. But then we can still get a sneak attack on that far guy. Put up our heals. Fight him while we're healing. That way we get a little bit more from our heal. There we go. I don't think we're gonna sneak up on this guy. So let's just uh, aggro him, bring him over here. When these are archers, you just kind of go around the corner so they have to come get right next to you. They can't get a bunch of shots off on you. All right, and then I don't think we're gonna get a sneak attack on this guy either. See what we got? Okay, some more oil. More oil and uh, few other things wow no nails this has been a rough a rough nail run but honestly that's just kind of how it is uh, this is not crazy like th this isn't like oh my gosh there's no nails like this is how it is sometimes. There's just no nails sometimes. So uh, this is some really good stuff though. Okay, so we have not got any nails, but we still got one more room. Let's see, let's see how this goes. All right, so. 
Got a wood giant over here. Go ahead and get a little sneak attack on him. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the club for the sneak attack. Maybe get a little bit better attack. I'm gonna go ahead and check the entrance. It's just good to every once in a while check the entrance, make sure no one's showing up. Oh, that was not good. So, I, if you let that last attack go, sometimes it can cost you a ton. So, but it's okay. He won't, it, it's, this isn't like Odin's. They don't insta-kill you when they, when you make a mistake. But it's good to count to five in your head because it just makes it a little bit better. All right. Okay, so we just got the archer. We didn't want to get both of them. All right, he's dead. Now we're going to get just this warrior. Oh, y'all see the little uh, lag spike? So that... That could be a player. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna sneak. All right, we're doing a little bit better than last time in the sense that uh, we've got better gear now. Okay, so I, I wanna check to see if that lag spike was a player or not. So we're gonna go see. And it was not a player, okay. So, um, okay, so it wasn't a player. Now, it could have been <laughs> like last time where it was a little lag spike and then a big lag spike, or I don't know. Oh, there we go, we're, we're, we're fighting. So, regardless of what I thought, we're, it's happening now. So I'm just do one hit at a time. It's kind of easy. And, um, but I do want, I'm going to, I'm going to get a little bit of extra distance on him. I'm going to eat that and eat that. It's going to get a bite. He's going to get a hit on me, but. So that makes me a little tankier. And uh, I was going to do a little bit more damage with each hit. It's not that great, but it's something. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh my gosh, I hate when I hit that. So I'm just kind of attacking him here a little bit because I have, I have armor. So last time when we were, when we were kind of going at it, we, um, I didn't have armor, so it made it a little bit harder, but I got a lot more healing and a lot more armor. So it's a little bit easier to, to kind of fight him in this context. But you can't let him hit you, otherwise it's just one shot. He'll just take you out so fast. You can't accidentally do an emoji. Alright, we killed him. So, this is the stuff he drops. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, you should not be worrying about this. You don't need to be getting all this nice stuff. You need to, oh, I need to go get the tomb. Um... Honestly, this stuff is nice, but if you are watching this video, because obviously you need nails, then you should not be excited about this loot because that is not your purpose in the game right now. Your purpose in the game is to build your workbench. That is going to solve so many problems for you in this game. So that was, that was a, a great depiction of how a tomb can go. You can do all of that work. You can clear pretty much the whole red tomb by yourself and not get a single nail. So the first one, we got seven nails. The second one, we got nothing. And so, but I'm gonna show you guys how to use your nails. So that's a good depiction of kind of the differences. You know, you can get, I don't think you're gonna get a lot more than seven. Maybe you could get up to 10. Sometimes you're gonna get nothing. You just have to do more of them until you get those nails which is why the next two things I'm about to tell you about getting nails 
is so important. Okay, so the first thing that's so important about saving your nails, the first thing you need to be keeping in mind when it comes to nails is what should you be spending you know, your nails on? So if you look at it, you might see, you know, you might build, you might see that like the distillery requires eight nails. Don't build your distillery. The distillery is good. You want a distillery, but if you do not have a workbench, which happens later. Do not build your distillery. Um, there's ritual daggers. Don't don't build ritual daggers. Um, none of these guys. Uh, I think some of these. Yeah, like the leather pants. Don't be building any leather pants. You do not need any leather pants. Uh, definitely don't build any of this heavy armor because again, it requires nails. You should not be building anything that requires nails until you have your workbench because then you have unlimited nails. So don't build any of these things that require nails, but the one thing you will need to spend all of your nails on is on strong pickaxes and strong hatchets. And we got seven earlier, which means that we could have enough to build uh, a strong, two strong hatchets or two strong pickaxes and a hatchet. And in reality, all you need is, I'm pretty sure you only need one pickaxe. Uh, I could be wrong on that, uh, but to get those two copper. So we got almost as much nails as we needed. You saw that we got, a, we got more than enough oil. We got a more than enough pliers. You guys should know how to make stone bricks pretty easily. So, I mean, if you don't, you're just gonna use, I'll just tell you. You're gonna use your stone cutters table. You're just gonna stick rocks in it and it's gonna immediately become those, you know, cut stone. And then you gotta use my tips on how to farm maple and copper, go to those zones, cut what you need, get what you need, build your workbench and you will never have a problem with nails again. I cannot emphasize it enough. This is the key to never having problems with nails. You will have to do what I just did to get enough nails to get the strong hatchets and strong pickaxes, to get the maple and copper that you need to build that workbench. So this is why this video is important. But once you don't spin on anything else until you just on just on strong hatchets and just on strong pickaxes, until you get enough maple and copper to build that workbench, once you do, no one can ever take it away from you and you will never have a problem with nails again. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.